Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, hello my name is Pinky. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's begin. This is going to be the reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2022. How are you doing Leo? I hope you guys are as excited and ecstatic as I am. This is the beginning of the holiday season. We are big on holidays. We are big on celebrations on this side. So I'm definitely interested and curious how you guys celebrate, if in fact you guys celebrate Hallow's Eve or Halloween. Let me know, comment below, let us know how you guys celebrate, what is your family traditions, etc. Anyways, let's get into it. For those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations, spell work, any of the workings and services that we provide, click on the link below the description box and you'll be able to find our online store there. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022? Let's see what's going on. Give us four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, and Water for Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, in regards to your finances and career with the element of Earth, we have the Six of Pentacles. A lot of opportunities are coming your way, Leo, especially for some of you guys that have been feeling like uh, people have been taking advantage of your work ethic or hardworking skills and abilities. That's definitely coming through. There is something that you've been hoping or wanting in regards to your finances and your career or uh, the business that you work for. If you guys are looking for a higher uh a higher type of position or extra pay, uh, an incentive, anything like that. That's definitely coming through for you guys for the month of October. I'm hearing the end of October. There's going to be almost this balancing act where they are noticing the effort and energy that you've been putting into your work. Um, I see particularly a specific person coming in to assist you or to help you give you that push that you need that's going to open doors up for you. Now, this is no one that you've been dealing with or have been working with. Uh, this is a new energy that's coming through. So for some of you guys in the workplace, there may be some changes in management. Um, there may be some people that are going to be walking out or... Uh, I guess the easiest way of saying it is someone hasn't really been doing what they're supposed to do and they are either being replaced or uh, they're pulling someone from a different company or different location to your location. So there's going to be a lot of changes that are happening for this month of October. Now, in regards to communication, the element of air, we have the lover's card here. So I do see you guys communicating or communication being a bit more open, a bit more transparent than it has in the past. Uh, this is in every single aspect. I feel like your energy is very well received. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Gemini for this month where communication is going to be, like I said, opening up. There is almost this... Um, this opportunity that's coming through for some of you guys, um, there is a higher type of elevation. Um, like I said, what I'm hearing is you've been hoping or wanting for something, whether it's peace, um, because you guys can see here in the lover's card, the white flowers symbolizing to me peace or harmony within the workplace. Um, and I definitely see that happening in this month of October. Of course, not without any changes because there are a few changes that are going to be happening for a lot of you guys. Now, in regards to the element of fire, the challenge here is the four of pentacles. So try the best you can not to be so reserved, Leo. Uh, really speak your mind. Open up. Um, I know you guys don't have a problem with that, but what they are telling you here is knowing and understanding the power that you possess. Um and not shying away from speaking your mind or, or, or standing your ground when it's necessary. Don't be so protective of your energy, Leo, especially in the workplace. I feel like this is going to play a very important role. So basically, if you're going to stand up for something, stand up for something that is meaningful to you or that it means a lot to you because people are going to not only, um, your energy is not only going to be well received, but it's also going to be admired for some of you guys. So again, I definitely see changes happening uh, in regards to finances 
in regards to your career. For some of you guys, it could be that you're switching or changing locations, as I do see from a distance a here in the Four of Pentacles, um, the buildings in the background are standing out for me. So it's indicate, uh, indicative of um, some type of change, some type of location, or again, it could be just that they're moving around management. Uh, there could be lack of stability because of management. Um, if you've been dealing with energies of like uh, people taking advantage of their position, stuff like that, that's quickly going to be um, coming to a halt. And like I said, I do see new people stepping in here. Now, in regards to the element of water, emotions, and uh, romance, we have the King of Swords. So I definitely do see air sign energy, <clears throat> air energy, I should say. It could be a Gemini or it could be an Aquarius Libra. Um, but what they are showing me here with the King of Swords is I see you very much in your head, Leo. It's almost like being very aware of the negative energies or people that are really taking advantage or have taken advantage of you in the past and finally being able to either cut them out completely. So I see a lot of changes is what they're telling me. And with these changes, uh, some of you guys may be either pulling away or cutting the cords to any type of connections with people that are not helping you uh, progress or be on the path that you want to be whether it's them depleting your energy, whether it's people bringing to you their problems. I see you a little bit fed up with that situation. Uh, I see you really standing tall for protecting your energy and your peace of mind. So uh, changes in regards to that aspect for this month of October. Finally, let's see what Spirit's last message is for Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is Spirit's final message here? for Leo's okay here we go and the card is attachment so yeah I feel like for a lot of you guys in the past maybe you've held on to relationships connections friendships um, maybe even work um, especially if the work environment was very toxic there is almost like this fear of releasing yourself from that and uh, could be because potentially um, the people that you surround yourself with or the people that this could be family, this could be relationships, this could be partners. There is some type of attachment, toxic energy here. And I feel like if you can see here, there is a mask that she's holding, which is indicative to me. What's really standing out is that mask. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that the facade of other people or the mask that they've been, you know, caring or wearing is finally coming off and you're being able to see them really for who they are and you're deciding to cut them without hesitation so again i feel a lot of revelations are going to be happening for you leos for this month not necessarily a negative thing a lot of the times it's necessary for us to uh, be able to do those changes that are necessary especially knowing where people stand with us so I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope this gives you insight and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.